kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us solve one more problem in which we need to distribute the costs among the departments the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question so when i am solving the problem when i am explaining it please keep the question with it now the, they have given a question in which there are three production departments that is a b and c and there are two service departments now what is this service department means the service departments will provide services to other departments for example service department there will be purchase department means it will purchase some goods and produce it to production department then we have canteen canteen is also a service department laboratory accounts office maintenance department this and all will come under service department so here in this question we are having d and e as service department now they have given some of the expenses rent and rates is 5000 indirect wages is 1500 depreciation of machinery is 10000 general lighting is 600 power is 1500 sundries is sundries means uh, miscellaneous expenses is 10,000. Now they have even given the floor space of each department, the light points of each department, direct wages of each department and HP of machines means horsepower. Horsepower means the engine power of the machine, when value of machinery. Apportion the costs to various departments on the most equitable basis. Now let us see how to solve this problem. So see here, this is a format. First one is the expenses whatever they have given we will write it here the second thing comes that is basis on what basis you will apportion it means you will divide then this is total of expenses which will write in rupees symbol then we have three departments that is a department b department and c department so this all a b and c departments are production department so i'll mention here production department then i have d and e d and e both are service department now first one they have given rent and rates but if you observe in the further details there we have direct wages first always you should divide the direct wages for only service department Yavaglu service department ke matra direct wages kalna hanjbeko. So, first one what we are having? Direct wages. So, direct wages. It is actual. Whatever they have given directly, you just put it. So, for A department and B department, C department, they are production department. So, you need not distribute any direct wages. Now, the D department direct wages is 1500 and E department's direct wages is 500. Both if shared, it will become 2000. Now, next, now see the expenses given in the question. We have rent and rates. So, rent and rates on what basis you will distribute? We will distribute on the basis of floor space. Now, we need to find out the ratio. So, total rent and rates is 5000. Now, we need to find the ratio for this. So, how to find the ratio? First one is rent and rates. Total rent and rates is 5000. So, we will apportion it on the basis of floor space. Now, we have A department, B department, C department, D department and E department. Now, the floor space of A department is 10,000 square feet. B sorry A department is 2000 square feet B department it is 2500 square feet C department it is 3000 square feet and D department it is 2000 square feet and E department it is 5500 square feet now in all this we have two zeros as common so cancel all two zeros so the remaining will be 20 25 30 20 and 5 now it is all divisible by 5. So 5 ones are, 5 fours are, 5 six are, 5 fives are, 
then 5 fours are so 4 is to 5 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 if you add all this you will get 20 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 1 now we have to divide this 5000 on this ratio so we are having a department b department c department d department and e department so a department will be 5000 into 4 divided by 20 4 divided by 20 b department will be 5000 into 5 divided by 20 c department it will be 5000 into 6 divided by 20 d department will be 5000 into 4 divided by 20 and e department will be 5000 into 1 divided by 20 now let us see 5000 into 4 divided by 20 it will be 1000 rupees next 5000 into 5 divided by 20 it will be 1250 rupees next 5000 into 6 divided by 20 it will be 1500 rupees next 5000 into 4 divided by 20 it is 1000 rupees next 5000 into 1 divided by 20 it will be 250 rupees now 1000 1000 into 50 1500 1000 into 50 we need to write it here so a department it will be 1000 b department 1250 c department it will be 1500 d department it will be 1000 and e department it will be 250 rupees next we have that is indirect wages we are having indirect wages so indirect wages we will just distribute on the basis of direct wages only this we will apportionate on the basis of direct wages so total indirect wages is 1500 rupees now indirect wages total indirect wages value is 1500 rupees this we will apportionate on the basis of direct wages now we have a department b department c department d department and e department a department direct wages is 3000 b department direct wages is 2000 c departments direct wages 3000 and d departments it is 1500 and e department it is 500 now in all two zeros are common so cancel two two zeros so when i cancel two two zeros it will be 5 15 30 20 and 30 so all are divisible by 5 so 5 ones are 5 threes are 5 six are 5 fours are and 5 six are so this will be the ratio if you add all the 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 it will be 20 now we have a department b department c department d department and e department we need to divide this 1500 in 6 is to 4 is to 6 is to 3 is to 1 ratio so a department will be 1500 into 6 divided by 20 b department it will be 1500 into 4 divided by 20 c department it will be 1500 into 6 divided by 20 d department it will be 1500 into 3 divided by 20 e department it will be 1500 into 1 divided by 20 now multiply this 1500 into 6 divided by 20 it will be 450 rupees next 1500 into 4 divided by 20 if you do it will be 300 rupees next 1500 into 6 divided by 20 it will be 450 rupees next 1500 into 3 divided by 20 it will be 225 rupees next 1500 into 1 divided by 20 it will be 75 rupees now the same values you need to write it in our table a department it is 450 b department it is 300 
C department it is 450 D department it is 225 and E department it is 75 rupees next what we are having we are having depreciation of machinery depreciation on machinery so it will be based on the value of machinery so it will be based on value of machinery now we need to calculate that one now depreciation the total value of depreciation is how much the total value of depreciation expenses is 10,000 this we will apportion it on the basis of value of machinery so value of machinery now a department b department c department e department sorry d department and e department a department value of machinery is 250000 b department value of sorry a lakh department value of machinery is 60000 b department it is 80000 c department it is 1 lakh and d department it is 5000 and e department it is 5000 now remove 3 3 zeros It will be 5, 5, 100, 8, then 6. Now, further you cannot divide anything, isn't it? Here it will be 80. So, it will be, sorry, here it is 60,000, right? So, it will be 60 is to 80 is to 100 is to 5 is to 5. So, 5 ones are 5 ones are 5. 20s are next it is 5 16s are 80 then 5 12s are 60 so this is the ratio 12 is to 16 is to 20 is to 1 is to 1 if you add all you will get 50 so now we have a department b department c department e department d department and e department a department will be 10,000 into 12 by 50 B department it will be 10,000 into 16 by 50. C department it will be 10,000 into 20 by 50. D department it will be 10,000 into 1 by 50. E department it will be 10,000 into 1 by 50. So now 10,000 into 12 divided by 50. It will be 2,000. 400 next b department 10000 into 16 divided by 50 it will be 3200 next 10000 into 20 divided by 50 it will be 4000 next 10000 into 1 divided by 50 it will be 200 next 10,000 into 1 divided by 50 it will be 200 now this 2400 3200 4000 2000 and 200 200 you have to write it here so 2400 sorry total it is 10,000 total it is 10,000 a department it is 2400 b department 3200 c department 4000 d department 200 and E department it is 200 rupees now next we are having lighting general lighting so lighting will be based on the number of light points so number of light points what is the total lighting expenses it is 600 rupees now let us try to divide this we have lighting expenses that is 600 rupees this will be on the number of light points we are having now a department b department c department d department and e department are there so in a department there are total 10 light points in b department there are total 15 light points and in c department there will be total 20 light points in d department total 10 light points and in e department there are total 5 light points now 
we can divide it by 5 5 ones are 5 twos are 5 fours are 5 threes are 5 twos are if you add all this that is 2 plus 3 3 plus 4 4 plus 2 2 plus 1 when you add all this it will be 12 total will be 12 now we need to divide this 600 among various department we have a b c and d e a it will be 600 into 2 divided by 12 b it will be 600 into 3 divided by 12 c department it will be 600 into 4 divided by 12 and d department it will be 600 into 2 divided by 12 e department it will be 600 into 1 divided by 12 now 600 into 2 divided by 12 it will be 100 rupees next 600 into 3 divided by 12 it will be 150 rupees next year 600 into 4 divided by 12 it will be 200 rupees next year 600 into 2 divided by 12 it will be 100 rupees next year 600 into 1 divided by 12 it will be 50 rupees so now based on this amount value we need to write it in our table that is a department is 100 rupees b department 150 c department 200 d department 100 and e department it is 50 rupees next we are having that is power power we should divide on the basis of horsepower of machinery so total power expenses it is 1500 let us see how to divide this so now we are dividing the power of machinery the total expenses is 1500 this we will apportion it on the basis of horsepower of machinery horsepower of machinery now A department, B department, C department, D department and D department is there. A department horsepower of machinery is 60, B department it is 30, C department it is 50, D department it is 10 and E department there is no horsepower used for any machinery. Now divide it 10 ones are, 10 fives are, 10 threes are, 10 six are. It will be 6 is to 3 is to 5 is to 1 which is it, nothing but the total that is 15. Now, we have A department, B department, C department and D department. E department, there is no horsepower, so no need to divide. So, A department, it will be 1500 into 6 by 15 and B department, it will be 1500 into 3 by 15. C department, it will be 1500 into 5 by 15. D department, it will be 1500 into 1 by 15. Now, A department, 1500 into 6 divided by 15. It will be 600 rupees. Next, B department, 1500 into 3 divided by 15. It will be 300 rupees. Next, 1500 into 5 divided by 15. It will be 500 rupees. And 1500 into 1 divided by 15 it will be 100 rupees so 600 300 500 and 100 we have to write it here 600 300 500 and 100 for e department there is no power used next is sundries means miscellaneous expenses so the miscellaneous expenses we will divide on the basis of direct wages so here we have found out the direct wages ratio that is 6 is to 4 is to 6 is to 3 is to 1. So what is the ratio? 6 is to 4 is to 6 is to 3 is to 1. This is direct wages ratio. Now we are dividing the sundry expenses. The total sundry expenses which they have given in the question is 10,000 rupees. So 10,000. Now, if you add all this, the total will be 15, sorry, 20. Now, we have A department, B department, C, D and E. So, A department, it will be 10,000 into 6 divided by 20. B department, it will be 
ten thousand into four divided by twenty. C department it will be ten thousand into six divided by twenty. D department it will be ten thousand into three divided by twenty. E department it will be ten thousand into one divided by twenty. So now ten thousand into six divided by twenty it will be three thousand rupees. Then B department ten thousand into four divided by twenty it will be two thousand rupees. Then ten thousand into six divided by twenty it will be three thousand rupees. Next ten thousand into three divided by twenty it will be thousand five hundred rupees. Next ten thousand into one divided by twenty it will be five hundred rupees. The same thing you need to write it over here. So here it will be three thousand. Two thousand, three thousand, thousand five hundred, and five hundred. Now add all this total. We will get total. Now add this two thousand plus five thousand plus thousand five hundred plus ten thousand plus six hundred plus thousand five hundred plus ten thousand. The total expenses you will get that is thirty thousand. Six hundred, thirty thousand six hundred. Now let us add a department expenses. It is thousand plus four fifty plus two thousand four hundred plus hundred plus six hundred plus three thousand. It will be seven thousand five hundred and fifty. Now add b department costs. It will be thousand two hundred and fifty plus three hundred plus three thousand two hundred plus one fifty. Plus three hundred plus two thousand. When you add everything, you will get seven thousand two hundred. Now C department. It is thousand five hundred plus four fifty plus four thousand plus two hundred plus five hundred plus three thousand. When you do everything, you will get nine thousand six hundred and fifty. Now D department. It is thousand five hundred plus thousand plus two twenty five plus two hundred plus hundred. Plus hundred plus thousand five hundred. When you do all together, you will get four thousand six hundred and twenty-five. Next, add E department expenses. It is five hundred plus two fifty plus seventy-five plus two hundred plus fifty plus five hundred. When you do it, when you add everything, you will get thousand five hundred and seventy-five. This is how we need to solve this problem in the examination. It is very simple problem. Hope everyone have understood how to solve this problem. Once again, you start the video watching from first. You start the video to watch from first. You watch it so that while you are watching simultaneously, you start solving with me only while watching the video. So that time you will get the concept more clear. Hope you have understood. Then in my next video I'll come back so please subscribe my channel so whenever i post the new videos when you press the bell icon you will automatically get the notification of the new videos that i have uploaded thank you if you have any queries regarding today's session kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast@gmail.com